Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Laura Shaw, the head of Emmerdale, has stated that Tom King's James Chase mistreatment of his wife, Phil Dingle, will go on for a while. In the protracted tale, which started before their engagement last year, Tom has abused Belle physically and emotionally. Fans of Emmerdale have differing opinions about the plot. Some call it horrible and awful, while others applaud the show for depicting domestic abuse realistically. In recent weeks, we witnessed him lock her inside the house when a fire broke out in the kitchen. He has also been monitoring her every step, Fortunately, she was awake enough to see the fire and put it out. But when she saw that both of the doors were locked, she began to have serious concerns. To make matters worse, she later learned that she was expecting his child and went to an abortion clinic for assistance, only to inform Tom that she had actually had a miscarriage. When Tom finally learned the truth, he was unable to physically harm Belle. In retaliation, because he was in a wheelchair at the time. When talking to us about the length of this plot, producer Laura Shaw remarked, we said right from the beginning that we wanted to tell this story as authentically and truthfully as we can. We wanted to be honest about the fact that for those who are victims of domestic abuse, the abuse does not end after a few weeks. It is a long lasting issue. I believe this storyline will continue until the end of the current year. I think we've always had a good idea in our heads exactly where we wanted it to end, if I'm honest, she said in reference to the plot's intended conclusion. We've undoubtedly encountered new turns and twists along the way, but we've always had a fairly clear idea of where it would end in our minds. Actor James Chase commented, he can't get away with it clearly realizing that his time on the program may not have long left. She needs justice for what has happened to her, so I'm not sure how much of that would be or how the plot would conclude, but I would assume it would have to be something along those lines. For all the suffering we've watched Belle go through, the audience must ultimately see her triumph, or at the absolute least, see him fail. You can push something incredibly far if you know where it will stop. There is still a little while left in this storyline, and soon Belle and Tom will be leaving for a secluded home in Wales. Unaware that Tom has already arranged a new job there and has no intention of going back to the hamlet, Belle thinks they are enjoying a leisurely vacation in the Welsh countryside. In the upcoming weeks, a special Emmerdale episode will use it as the centerpiece. Producer Sophie Roper provided some specifics to Metro.co.uk. Bill and Tom is undoubtedly a major plot point for us right now. At times, it's a very challenging plot point to watch. Our audience is responding to it because it's such a significant and genuine problem. We're carrying on with that narrative and making a sincere effort to be honest in those kinds of connections. In an upcoming special episode, Tom and Belle will take a vacation together to Wales. Belle is being severely isolated by Tom from her family, her environment, and all she knows and loves, which is regrettably a common characteristic of abusers. It will be challenging drama at times, but we're eager to keep telling this story and sending out this important message. A football match between Spain and Germany ran too long. Therefore, Emmerdale's ITV soap opera was canceled on Friday, leaving viewers confused about the missing episode. The action on the Dales had already been rescheduled for 8.30 p.m., but as the Spain versus Germany match entered extra time, Emmerdale was rescheduled and ceased to air on Friday nights. Watchers of soap operas were incensed to have missed their installment at the time, and many remained perplexed over Friday's missing episode wondering when they will be able to catch up on the drama in the Hamlet. Fans of the soap operas, however, don't have to worry because ITV's streaming service, ATVX, has added the Friday and tonight's Monday, July 8 episodes to the hub. To make up for Friday's schedule change, 
TV schedules currently indicate that Emmerdale will air in a double bill from 7 to 8 p.m. One soap opera watcher informed perplexed fans on Twitter. Now X saying, Tonight's and Friday's episode of Hashtag Emmerdale is available on ITVX. TV Guy is showing an hour long at 7 p.m. tonight. This is in line with Sophie Roper's recent revelation that the soap opera has a lot of exciting things planned. The Dinkles have been at the heart of our show for 30 years now and will continue to be so, she stated, hinting to future plans. We recently lost Steve. Thus, in the upcoming months, a Dingle funeral will be held to honor Zach's life. Many of the show's staff members and, obviously, Many of our viewers who have grown to adore Zach for many, many years will find it quite tough, but it will be an incredibly fitting homage to a fantastic character. But when Mandy and Patty do marry the wedding, there will also be some joyful tales, so it won't all be depressing. Elsewhere in the Dingle world, we have Mandy and Patty building towards a wedding. The speaker continued, Mandy and Patty are involved, so there will be plenty of fun there. One of our dressmakers made Mandy's outfit in-house. It will be really Mandy. It is going to be enormous. It will be a lot of fun. So keep an eye out for some fun with the Dingle clan amongst all of that. Sam Hall's character Samson Dingle has sparked even more controversy in Emmerdale by disclosing a startling secret. The character has recently been in the center of a lot of turmoil, particularly because of his friendship with Josh Cope. When the two attempted to pilfer from the hide, they caused commotion and got into an argument with Maddie. When Josh pushed Samson into Maddie, who was brandishing a knife, Samson was stabbed, which was an unexpected turn of events. Josh then tricked Samson into saying that Maddie had stabbed him on purpose. Consequently, Maddie was imprisoned and worried that being transgender might make him a target. His family is worried since he was attacked this week and had to go to the hospital. According to The Express, Maura Dingle, Maura Barton, was determined in Thursday's episode to persuade Samson to confess the truth about the incident in order to release Maddie from jail. She abducted Samson, having Mac Boyd, Lawrence Robb, help her and begged him to confess. Samson eventually acknowledged that Josh was the one who had planned the attack on Maddie following a tense exchange of words. Mac recommended that Samson and Maddie fabricate a story to the police about Josh being the one who attacked Maddie. Maura drove Samson to the police station to give his statement, and he seemed convinced. It was soon clear that Samson was not going to go through with the plan when in an unexpected turn of events, he chose not to have Mora accompany him inside the police station. Back at Mora's, the drama continued when the cops showed up, shocking her and Mac alike when they learned Samson had truly accused them of kidnapping. Kane was shocked to see Mora and Mac being led away in handcuffs when he arrived. Samson's betrayal of Mac and Mora infuriated Emmerdale fans, who took their fury to X, the website that was once known as Twitter an especially enraged member posted, Samson did Mora dirty there. In a tweet, someone other showed shock and said, oh my God, what have you done now, Samson? Another fan expressed the same feelings, saying, what the hell is wrong with Samson? Another viewer expressed horror by saying, what a horrible character Samson has become. He's happy for a relative to be killed and gets another arrested to protect a mate he's had for two minutes. Another person expressed their fury by saying, so that little rat Samson has grasped on Mora and Mac. That boy has no shame or conscience. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.